welcome to the Better Police Projects YouTube channel. Today we're demonstrating a simple model of the Kalman filter in Dynara Julia. Let's start with the mod file in Dynara Julia. We begin by introducing the package CSV in Julia. Using the using command, we upload the CSV package to work with a file containing historical US real GDP data. In Diner, as in Julia and MATLAB, endogenous variables are introduced using the keyword VAR, followed by a list of variables. For this model, we include the real GDP level in natural log terms, LGDP, its growth in log terms, LGDP, and the trend GDP, LGDP past MP bar. Additionally, we define its growth, LGDP MP bar, the persistent component in trend GDP growth, GMP, the output gap, YMP, and the cumulative output gap, EMPC. The notation MP stands for monetary policy. This is a basic univariate model for estimating monetary policy relevant output gaps, primarily for demonstration purposes. It is not suitable for potential output estimation or in-depth analysis for monetary reports. All endogenous variables are listed separated by commas with the last variable, YMPC, followed by a semicolon to terminate the block. Next, we define exogenous variables, which represent shocks. The keyword VRXO is followed by a list of shocks prefixed with res. These include shocks to the potential level, res LGDP per MP bar, the growth of potential GDP, res GMP, and the output gap resem. Like the endogenous variables, the list is comma separated and the block ends with a semicolon. Parameters are then introduced. They are listed separated by commas and the block ends with a semicolon. Values are assigned to each parameter, including the steady state growth rate of real GDP for the US. We move on to the model block where equations are defined. This block starts with the keyword model and ends with end, both followed by semicolons. The first equation defines the output gap as the difference between real GDP in log terms and its trend. Alternatively, GDP is expressed as the sum of its trend and gap. The second equation describes the stochastic process for trend output, which equals its lag plus a persistent component and a shock. Similarly, the persistent component of trend growth follows the stochastic process with coefficients on the lag and steady state growth summing to one. The output gap equation defines it as a function of its lag and shocks to GDP level, GDP growth, and the output gap itself. The cumulative output gap, YMPC, is defined as its lag plus the current period's output gap. This variable is primarily used for plotting and demonstration. The growth of GDP is expressed as the difference between current and lagged GDP. Trend GDP growth is similarly defined but refers to the trend level rather than potential output. Equations are terminated with semicolons. The steady state model block introduced with a steady state model and ending with end define steady state values. All gap variables such as the output gap and the cumulative output gap are zero in the steady state. Growth rates for GDP, trend output, and the persistent component equal their steady state growth rates. Deterministic trends such as the levels of GDP and trend output are specified in a block labeled uh, deterministic trends with steady state growth rates in a parentheses. Shocks are defined in a shocks block. Standard deviations for the shocks are set as follows. 0 0.1 for res LGDP MP bar, 0 0.2 for res GMP, and 0 0.8 for res MP. Each line is terminated with a semicolon. The command check verifies whether the model satisfies the blanchard Kahn conditions, ensuring a unique stable equilibrium near the steady state. If satisfied, simulations can proceed. Simulations are run using the stock simul command with the order specified in parentheses. Observable variables are declared with the keyword varops, with GDP in log terms as the only observable variable. The Kalman filter, a two-sided smoother, is executed using the command calib smoother with the data file specified in parentheses. 
Next, we create a PDF report to include model equations, parameters, standard deviations, and output figures. Using the report command, we specify the title and the optional subtitle. Pages are added with the page command. Model details are included with add model and graphs with add graph. Additional pages are added with add page. The print report command generates the final PDF. To execute the mod file, we use using diner to import the package and define the context with context, add uh, diner, name of the file dot mod. Running the mod file generates impulse response functions, IRFs for the three shocks. The first shock, a positive shock to trend growth, a JMP, increases trend growth and output growth. The resulting positive output gap reflects heightened expectations and increased consumption. The second shock affecting the level of trend GDP shifts it permanently. This results in a temporary negative output gap until GDP aligns with the new trend. The third shock to the output gap does not alter the trend but temporarily raises GDP above its trend before returning to equilibrium. We also created a figure in Julia using the plots package and saving it as file name. The PDF report includes the file name and subtitle on the first page, equations and parameters on the second page, and a plot of US GDP growth and trend output growth on the last page. Subplots show the output gap and forecasted variables up to 2030. This simple uh, univariate Kalman filter serves as a rough forecasting tool, but is not intended for policy implications or macroeconomic analysis. It highlights historical recessions, such as the 1980s crisis, the global financial crisis, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, please contact us at the Better Policy Project. We'll see you in our next videos.